the second smaller triangle of the posterior compartment is a supraclavicular or omoclavicular triangle or it is also called the greater supraclavicular fossa this area that is below the uh, inferior belly of omohyoid bounded anteriorly by posterior border of sternocleidomastoid and posteriorly by the anterior border of trapezius and below by middle one third of clavicle okay so middle one third of clavicle uh, sternocleidomastoid superiorly inferior belly of omohyoid and posteriorly by the anterior border of trapezius muscle and uh, as in all other uh, triangle the roof is formed by skin the superficial fascia containing platysma muscle and the uh, investing layer of deep, deep fascia and the floor floor is formed by the muscles which are muscles uh, here we have the scalenus medius a part of scalenus medius is going down and along with that there is also scalenus anterior okay so mainly by scalenus anterior and a part of scalenus medius also so uh, scalenus anterior and a part of scalenus medius which is coming from the occipital triangle downwards okay and a part of medius also so this forms the floor of that and contents are important the main content of the posterior triangle are situated in the uh, supraclavicular triangle so of the contents the first one is brachial plexus okay which part of brachial plexus the upper middle and lower trunk of brachial plexus so this is the upper trunk and the upper trunk okay trunk of brachial plexus both upper uh, middle and also lower and the upper trunk is formed by c5 c6 and the middle trunk is formed by c7 and the lower trunk is formed by c7 and t1 okay so all the three trunk of brachial plexus are situated in the supraclavicular triangle and uh, uh, what are the branches given off in the uh, supraclavicular triangle so of the branches this of brachial plexus given off in the supraclavicular triangle and they are one is a dorsal scapula it was already uh, explained in along with the occipital triangle uh, which is given off from c5 nerve root and from c5 it is going uh, through the uh, scalenus medius and it's supplying the uh, levator scapulae okay so dorsal scapula is supplying levator scapulae muscle that is from c5 the long thoracic nerve is from c5 5 6 and 7 root from c5 c6 and c7 now root the long thoracic nerve and it is going uh, downward direction and again now to subclavius and suprascapula this is suprascapula now uh which is from c5 c6 and now to subclavius is again from uh c5 and now to subclavius is going downwards and supply, uh, supplying L over to the uh, subclavian uh, artery and vein and it is supplying going down to the uh, supply the subclavius muscle okay so these are the uh, nerves uh, which are given from in the supraclavicular triangle okay and another content is the subclavian artery that is the third part of subclavian artery here and also there are two more arteries in the supraclavicular triangle one is a transverse cervical it uh, that is uh, transverse cervical comes here through the mainly from uh, occipital triangle a part is coming into uh, supraclavicular also and also supra scapula
goes like this. Suprascapular artery. Okay. So both these are part of thyro cervical trunk of the first part of subclavian artery. Transverse cervical and uh, suprascapular. Branches of thyro cervical trunk of first part of subclavian artery. It is also uh, forming content of the supraclavicular triangle. Along with there is subclavian vein. This is subclavian vein. And along with subclavian vein, there is also terminal part of uh, external jugular vein and also this transverse cervical vein. Okay, so external jugular and also transverse cervical, a, a small part of transverse cervical vein along with the subclavian vein. So these are the conducts and also there is uh, one more important uh, conduct is the Supraclavicular lymph nodes. Okay, there are so many supraclavicular lymph nodes are present. Okay, and so the supraclavicular or homoclavicular triangle is a lower part of the posterior triangle. Bounded anteriorly by posterior belly of sternocleidomastoid, mastoid, posteriorly by trapezius. Above by inferior belly of homohyoid and below by the middle third of clavicle. It contains mainly the upper, uh, middle and lower trunk of uh, brachial plexus, third part of subclavian artery, subclavian vein and also the sub, uh, supraclavicular lymph nodes. And of the clinical importance, the, uh, the most important one is uh, supra enlargement of the uh, supraclavicular lymph node and the left supraclavicular lymph nodes are otherwise called what it is virtuos nodes that is uh, enlargement of the left supraclavicular lymph node that is left supraclavicular lymph node is called virtuos node and if there is an enlargement you call it as trousse sign positive okay so the enlargement of the virtuos nodes Positive is trouser sign positive because this enlargement is seen in cases of malignancies of uh, certain abdominal structures, especially stomach and colon. Right? So, that is the importance of the uh, left supraclavicular lymph nodes or viscous nodes. Another clinical importance is we give brachial plexus block, we give cervical plexus block in the occipital triangle, but the brachial plexus block. This block is given in the supraclavicular triangle uh, above the middle point of clavicle. Okay, so that is uh, regarding the brachial plexus block. Clinical uh, importance is that from cases of uh, Cayley spine or the tuberculosis of the uh, cervical vertebra, the pus will track along the uh, posterior triangle. I already told about the Prevertebral uh, layer of uh, D fascia, the prevertebral fascia, which is continuous as an axillary sheet. So, from uh, tuberculous cervical spine, the pus may track along the prevertebral fascia and it can point into the axilla. Okay, so that is from the root of neck, it can point into the upper limb, and along the axillary sheath, it can point into the axilla. That is also another clinical importance. So, uh, Occipital triangle and supraclavicular or homoclavicular or greater supraclavicular fossa.